Uh, hi, I'm Xiaoyun Li from Intel. My, ma my work mainly focuses on DBTK PMD development. And today I'm going to talk about the DBTK PMD for AFXDP. Uh, my agenda is like this. I'm going to talk about the introduction to AFXDP, DBK PMD for AFXDP and future work. Let's retrospect the concept of AFXDP first. It can be regarded as an upgraded version of AF package. It uses the XTP program uh, to trigger the X path for selected queues and re redirect the frames to the user space memory so it can reach zero copy between the user space and the kernel space. So the, the most important benefit of AFXDP is the performance improvement comparing to the AF packet and it can achieve about three to more than 20 times performance improvement compared to, ring to the AF packet. Uh, the difference is due to different configurations. And the second benefit of AFXDP is it uses the XTP program, so it, uh, so it uh, uh, connects the XTP program directly to the user space. And, and an eBPF program can be forwarded to the uh, user space application efficiently. And for our DBK, we, we do not change our applications. We can use the original app apps and uh, let the kernel driver to handle the hardware. Uh, we just uh, provide the new option for the users. Um, then let, uh, to enable the DBK PMD for FXDP, we, we, care about, we care about most about the two things. The first thing is how to enable a socket, AFXDP socket in user space. Uh, these few of lines, codes, uh, show a basic process to enable the socket. Uh, first, you need to create you need to create the XDP socket and then, then allocate the user space memory buffer and register this memory buffer to that socket. Then uh, you need to create the uh, RX ring, TX ring, fuel ring, and completion ring. And uh, then these two rings, fuel ring and completion ring, you need to map them to the kernel to the kernel, so uh, the user space and the kernel space can, can share these two rings. Uh, then uh, just bind this socket to, to a specific NetDev and NetDev queue, then the, then the X process and TX process can, can be started. Uh, the second thing we care about most is the data path AF, uh, in how the data path in AFXDB works. Uh, it uses the uh, U memory. U memory is a uh, continuous user space memory di uh, divided into equal sized frames. Each frame can hold one packet. And uh, 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 as I said before, th there, are, there is a, a few ring and completion ring. For, e for one U memory, there is only one pair of fuel ring and the completion ring. It is shared between the user space and the kernel space. And for the uh, RX parts, the user space application need to fill the fuel ring first. Uh, the, uh, fill the descriptor into this. The descriptor is an index, is an offset of the frame. For example, if the application fills this, uh, fill these frames offset to the fuel ring, then the kernel will know where to put the packet in. And uh, after the packet is filled in this frame, the descriptor of this frame will go back to the X ring. Uh, then the X process is done. And for the TX process, the user application will fill the TX ring first. And uh, uh, then need a system call to inform the kernel to say, hi, kernel, I, ha I have this frame, these frames ready for transmitting, transmission. And uh, then kernel will do the transmission. And after the, the, the transmission is done, these frames, the descriptors will go to the completion 
ring to indicate that the transmission is over. And uh, the frames are ready, uh, can be free and ready for RX. Uh, okay, uh, after the two things, we in, in fact, we can already do our uh, structure like this. Mm, we, right now, we want our PMD as simple as possible. So we, we just bind, uh, create our ether dive with one night dive and one night dive queue. And for each net ether dive, we can create uh, several queues, but each, each queue has one socket. At first, uh, the, mm, you need to uh, have an eBPF program. This program needs to include a function to, redirect, to generate the redirect map. Uh, at first, the, this map is empty, only, in, only have uh, these entries, uh, the keys, but the socket is, is empty. Then the PM, after the PMD starts, it will create the socket for the, for the DBTK queues. And uh, after the, the creation is done, we will fill back the socket to, the, to this map. Uh, so the whole process is like uh, you need to load the eBPF program first and uh, link the program to a specific NetDev and uh, NetDev queue and uh, uh, then uh, to expose this, this map information to users. Uh, users will get uh, information including the map ID and uh, how many entries I can use. Uh, this is a, a, an example to use the test PMD application. Uh, it, this means I, need, I want to create uh, is a dive, and its type is AFXDP, and uh, this is a dive is bind to night dive zero and uh, night dive Q1, and uh, the redirection map I use is 56, and uh, uh, there are five entries, so I can choose any any of them. I choose the start the key start from three and use two keys, so I use these two entries. Mm, at first, this, this I, I, I'm empty. And uh, after the PMD starts, it will create the socket for these two queues. And uh, then the socket D and the socket E are generated, uh, then came back to this map to fill these two entries. Mm, and OK, the, the another thing important is how to map the RT memory pool and the uh, uh, AFXDP U memory. Since uh, your memory is user space memory, so we can uh, we can just uh, map our IT memory pool to to the your memory, uh, and it gives us this chance because it uh, the this header room of your memory can be uh, defined by the user space application just as what you want. So we we just use this um, to 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 in, to put our M buff hider in this space and uh, put our data to the U memory data, um, just like this picture shows. Mm, OK, the, then com comes to the most important part, the performance. Uh, we do the performance, uh, we use the Broadwell pl platform and uh, using Intel XL 710 card and use eSHA to fully generate the, uh, the packets and uh, use the newest patch set of the AFXDP. Mm, the, 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 the experiment site is use two calls. One call is for TX and RX, and the, another call is for use for the user space application. Mm, uh, the performance data is shown here. Uh, here. Uh, to, to clarify, this data is not PMD performance. It, it is uh, just the AFXDP performance. It is released the last uh, has been released the last week, uh, the, and uh, these three lines are all AFXDP, but with different configurations. You can see all of them are better than the AF packet version three, uh, no matter in X, TX, or L2 forward, but. To see the exact data of the performance, you can see. It. In fact, it is not good uh, comparing to our pure DBTK PMD. Uh, 
um, their target is to achieve about 90% of our pure DBDK PMD performance, but right now it's only about uh, 50 to 60 percentage. Uh, that's because uh, the, the work is still ongoing and many of the optimization works are, haven't been done and uh, there are so several problems haven't been uh, addressed. Um, uh, and uh, for the PMD performance, uh, we, we also do the performance uh, test on the same setup, same performance setup. And uh, uh, the result is for these two configurations, our PMD performs exactly the same uh, as the AFXDP does. But with this zero copy, uh, our performance, uh, our PMD performance is really bad. Only can achieve about uh, uh, like this one. Uh, uh, although the debugging work is still ongoing, we haven't found why is that. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so our fir first future work is to refine the zero copy enabling, and uh, our target is also to uh, to to lack the other two configurations to align with that AFXDP performance um, to show our PMD overhead is not is not high. And the second future work is the user to, uh, is what we want to develop a user tool for AFXDP in DBTK because as I said before, we need to uh, do step by step a lot of things by the kernel uh, by the kernel side. We need to load the eBPF program and uh, link them to the specific native and expose the redirect map. Uh, so we want to uh, develop a user tool for that uh, to just make life easier. And uh, the third thing, of course, we need to follow up the kernel's changes. If they do something, if they do something new to new features, we need to follow up that. And uh, the Last one, the most important one is that we need to optimize the performance. Uh, after all, the, whole, the, the, the final goal is, the, is to improve the performance. Uh, that's all. And the final thing is um, the RFC has been sent in the community. This is the mail list uh, the website. You can go on and, uh, and uh, give us feedback. Thank you. Thank you, Sion. Thank you.